Catherine Super Chic in 20 pound Zara houndstooth scarf and cream coat during Will's visit with William. Kate Milton's wardrobe really is a masterclass in versatility. If you need proof that it goes far beyond your usual desk to dinner capability, just take a look at today's outfit. The Prince and Princess of Wales visited South Wales on Tuesday ahead of St. David's Day on Wednesday. The couple met with the local community of Abervon Leisure and Fitness Centre in Port Talbot, where they listened to the importance of sport and exercise for mental health and well-being. They then took part in a spin class at the fitness centre that lasted 45 seconds, which Milton won. For the occasion, Kate sported a monochrome look that encapsulated her signature style. She wore a bespoke cream Alexander McQueen coat, another to add to her inviolable A&M coat collection. With a tonal turtleneck jumper and a houndstooth A-line midi skirt, keeping on her string of mixing luxurious designer pieces with high street heroes, most of us have something from Zara in our wardrobes. As one of the biggest fashion retailers, it's inescapable. Even those who have sworn off fast fashion may have acquired a Zara piece secondhand via a charity shop or eBay. The Princess of Wales is no different. She donned a 1999 pound midi skirt from Zara, and as much as we're obsessed with the price point of her skirt, we also love how current the silhouette is. With a high waist and a floaty A-line shape, the included belt helps to define the waist, whilst the monochrome print mirrors Kate's own Zara skirt. It proves that purchasing one similar now will keep you trendy from spring, summer to autumn to winter. Sadly, Middleton's exact skirt is already sold out, though Zara has several similar options online. There are plenty of alternatives to help you copy the royal style on a budget, while resale Zara has some available for as little as £5.99. Not only was it perfect arrival outfit to greet the crowds who had gathered outside, but she didn't so much break a sweat when inside she was asked to hop on an exercise bike. Yes, really, she didn't even take off her designer knee-high boots. What a pro. To finish the look, the Princess of Wales added a Mulberry England top handle bag. The stylish bag would set you back a cool $820, bespoke boots by Gianvito Rossi, and faux diamond and pearl drop earrings by Heavenly London. Kate wore a glamorous makeup with a pink lipstick and a dark smoky eye and swept her hair behind her shoulders. Kate's signature hairstyle is the bouncy blow dryer which she debuted for her official engagement portraits. Following that, she had a long curtain fringe and layers to frame the face added in, before lightening her hair a shade or two. The Prince and Princess of Wales was met up with Annabel Padwick, who is creating a small set of vegetable gardens at the rehab center to provide a new alternative therapy. The couple is throwing their royal clout and fundraising aid behind the plans, which was unveiled at Brynwall Rehabilitation Center in South Wales on Tuesday. William laughed as he spotted the names of the flowers, the sweet William, on a label, as volunteer gardener Vanessa Townsend helped Kate sow the seeds, telling her, they will flower in two years, I'll make sure you get some. The important engagement comes just a few days after they attended the Six Nations Wales vs England match at Principality Stadium in Cardiff, where they also opened the Sir Tasker Watkins suit for injured players and their families. The princess wore a bespoke red and white Catherine Walker coat she had previously worn in 2018. The gorgeous red coat sports a houndstooth print with large red buttons. This time, she still wore those black tights, but she added a pair of ankle boots and black turtleneck underneath. She looked as chic as ever. One notable thing about Kate's best fashion moments is that many of them had been recycled, something that is normal for commoners but not necessarily for royals. On Kate's fashion sense, royal expert Duncan Lacrom told, Does she have the same clout as Diana? Well, you have to look at the sales figures for all the outfits she has worn. They have skyrocketed. The minute Kate wears an off-the-peg dress, it sells out. And that reminds us of the Diana effect.